I've often wondered how other black actors who live across the world, when they come to London Fair, let's have a butcher, shall we? Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of the Paul Innocent Channel. And what it's like to really be an actor from Cardiff in London. <laughs> I had an audition come up a few days ago in the centre of London. He said, can you do an African accent? I said, what you are talking about is going to... I don't know what you're talking. After that, it went quite well. He kept me in there for 45 minutes, was in the office for... I didn't know what to make of it, head or tail. Anyway, whether I've got the job or not, I really don't know right here and now, but I'll keep you informed, I'll keep you posted as always. Another audition coming up next Wednesday for something really fantastic. And I'll be doing it back home in Cardiff, won't I, this time? Now this should be an eye-opener, this. We've got to wait until it happens. But when it happens, I'll keep you all informed as to what's going on right here and now, all right? There's something coming up on Friday. It's a play they're doing down in Devonshire. It's been a long time since I've been down to Devonshire, it is. So I'm looking forward to finding out whether I can get that or not. Anyway. We'll have to find out what happens during the week. That's it for this week's episode of The Paul Innocent Channel. And what it's like to really be an actor from Cardiff in London. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of The Paul Innocent Channel. And what it's like to really be an actor a black actor at that, from Ireland, living in London. Well, I've managed to quench myself a good bunch of auditions this week. It's been quite full on. I can honestly say that. But they asked if I could do a straight English accent. I said, well, I'm from just across the water. Of course I can do a straight English accent. And they asked me to imitate it. Well, I did just that. If you want me to do it right here and now, just let me know, I said. And he said, go ahead. So off I went, just like that. I said, you're a poxy moron. He suddenly stops me and says, that's not an English accent, that's a Cockney accent. I want an English accent. Can you do it or can't you do it? So off I went. Straight, posh, very, very well to do, cut glass accent. And then he interrupts me and he says to me, he said, that was what I was looking for right here and now. You did a fantastic job of it. When would you be available to do the job? I said, are you kidding me? I'm available to start whenever you're available to offer me the job. That's it. He said... Right, well, the job's yours, I think. That's it for this week's episode of The Paul Innocent Channel. And, and what, what it's, it's like, like to really, really be an actor from Southern, Southern Ireland, Ireland living here, here in London. London. Great, Great Britain. Britain. Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of The Paul Innocent Channel. And what it's like to really be an actor from Adelaide, Australia, living here in London, Great Britain. And it's been a bit of a good week. I had a whole bunch of flying auditions come up at the beginning of the week here. On the Monday we did a commercial. Can you believe that? 18,000 flying pounds they were paying for this thing. I thought, Struth the remade, I've got to get in on this. So I went along. When I got there, some woman came out with a real plum in her mouth and said, Oh, good golly, you must be Craig. I said, No, mate, I'm, I'm Paul. That might be Craig over there. Now, I've got a hunch here. Seeing as there are four or five other black actors and 35 white actors, well, I knew Craig had to be somehow black, but it definitely wasn't me, so... Anyway, the director came out a few minutes later and said to me, Listen, Paul, I want you to come in here. I've got a screenplay I want you to read. Are you prepared to do that? I said, listen, mate, that's why I've come along here, so I can do that, all right? I was in there for about 25 minutes. I haven't got a flaming clue whether I've got the job or not, but the amount of money, 18,000 pounds, I thought, truth or mate, that's $36,000 back home. So I went in there and had a great time. Now, we'll find out next week whether I've got the job. And I shall keep you all informed. Got a humdinger of an audition coming up in a couple of days' time for a stage play. Not a lot else to report here, mate. So, that's it for this week's episode of The Paul Innocent Channel. And, and what, what it's, it's like, like 
to really be an actor. An Australian flame an actor at that, and a black one, living here in London. Great Britain. Turtle boy.